It was one year ago tomorrow that a bridge collapse in Minneapolis exposed America's deteriorating infrastructure. But we're not making much progress fixing the problem. The Associated Press looked at more than 1,000 bridges deemed structurally deficient in 2007, and only 126 of them have been repaired. Nancy Cordes has more. It was the height of the afternoon rush hour when this seemingly sturdy bridge suddenly came apart at the seams taking 13 lives down with it. And the whole bridge just gave, gave out and just completely fell. It was a wake-up call about the nation's crumbling infrastructure. A bridge in America just shouldn't fall down. Decades of underinvestment had left the country with 152,000 structurally deficient bridges and a price tag pegged at $140 billion to fix them. The states have started to step up. Uh, which is good. Bridge expert Andrew Herman says the Minneapolis collapse spurred several states to get creative. Missouri made a deal with a single contractor to improve 800 of its worst bridges, then maintain them for 25 years. Pennsylvania's governor pushed through a $350 million bond issue. But during a visit to Minneapolis with New York's mayor, he told CBS News, he needs 80 billion more. There is no way on this good God's earth that Pennsylvania alone can come up with that type of funding. So this is something that's going to need state and local and federal cooperation. But federal cooperation has been slow in coming. Congress is still debating a bill proposed right after the collapse that would provide a billion dollars for emergency bridge repairs. Meanwhile, federal gas tax funds, which are used to pay for road repairs, are shrinking as Americans drive less to avoid high gas prices. If you had enough funding, what would you do? I would replace every deficient bridge that's in my district. That was Northern Virginia's top bridge engineer one year ago. We went back today to ask him if anything's changed. Last year at this time, you told me you had 30 deficient bridges in your district. How many do you have now? Right now we have 56. More? More. What happened? Just inspections. And it's happening nationwide, which may not be a bad thing. After investigators determined that the Minneapolis bridge lacked proper support, 750 similar spans underwent thorough inspections. As a result of that, uh, I believe uh, significantly uh, more uh, bridges have been uh, strengthened in a way that uh, enables them to be much safer than they were before. Sadly, it took a tragedy to start the nation on what is going to be a long, expensive journey. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, Washington.